and welcome to Oxford, Ohio. The Good Friday edition of Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. Brianna Pratt's taking the circle for Miami as Red Hawks coming to this one with a 17 and 14 record, five and six in the Mid-American Conference. They'll be hosting Buffalo coming at 10 and 19, four and one in the MAC for a three game series. Let's take you through the Bulls starting lineup. Batting leadoff and the first base, Abby Nagel. Pitching in the circle and batting in the tool, Alexis Luzishin. Madison Firmament is the third baseman. She's batting third. Sarah Kelly's out in left field. She's the cleanup hitter. Maya Mitchell is the right fielder. She's batting fifth. Lily Lauk is the designated player. She's in the six hole. Tiana Williams in the seven hole. She's playing second base. Kate Vera will be the starting first center fielder. She is batting eighth. And Lily Ambrose will be behind the dish. She's anchoring the lineup. In the circle for Miami, Brianna Pratt, as usual. She comes in with a 5.08 ERA, 9 and 7 record. She's thrown 101 innings pitch. She struck out 88 and has walked 36. So we'll see Abby Nagel, the left handed swinger, step in first pitch here at 5.02. Temperature at first pitch, 57 degrees with a slight breeze. Mentioned this is the first of a three-game series, doubleheader tomorrow. You can watch that all here on Chatterbox Sports. Pratt's 1-0 is found towards the first base dugout. Nagel comes in batting 278, 25 hits and 90 at-bats. She's left the yard twice, seven RBIs on the season. She's slugging 433, and she gets this game going with a single out to right field. So let's take you through the Miami defensive alignment. In the battery with Brianna Pratt is Riley Coyne. Out at first Next base is Holly Blaska. Chloe Parks will be the second base. Adriana Lucia. Barlow, the slick fielding shortstop. She's still there. Carly Spade on the left side of the infield with Barlow. She's playing third out in the pasture. Maddie Banks, Kate Kobayashi, and Jenna Golombeski. Alexis Luzishin looking to help her own cause as she steps into the batter's box. 287, the senior is hitting. She has started in every game this year. Three home runs, 25 hits and 87 at-bats. Nagel has stolen a base one time this year as Luzishin lines went down the third baseline, but foul. One and one's the count. Mentioned this Miami team, 10 and 19 overall, but four and one in the MAC. They had a three game sweep over Bowling Green. Who Miami will take on next. Bowling Green struggling this year. One and one's the count here from Pratt as she toes the rubber, rocks and deals, misses up. Two and one. Buffalo currently in third place here in the Mid-American Conference, or tied for second, rather, as they're only trailing Ohio, who's 10 and two. Their two losses coming against Miami. Ohio has beaten every other team they've played. Western Michigan also four and one, tied with Buffalo. Miami sitting down near the bottom. They're five and six, but it's a close pack in the middle. They mentioned Bowling Green, who is one and 11 this year in conference play. 3-1 count to Luzishin, and a called strike will run it full. Luzishin, eight walks on the season. She gets on base about 35% of the time. The payoff pitch. Swung on and miss, and a big strikeout for Pratt. Puts one on the outboard, and one on first base as Madison Furniman steps in the batter's base, box. Number two, Madison Furniman. Furniman, a junior, batting 209 on the season. Leads the team in RBIs. She has started in every game this year. Oh. 
Furniman, a native of Idaho, Hayden, Idaho to be exact, has had a hit in each of her last four starts. Four hits last week against Bowling Green. She chops one out to Adriana Barlow. Only plays to second base, a slide into second. Not in time as the throw beats her. As the four to six, the six to four put out rather. On the fielder's choice, puts away Abby Nagel for the second out. Fielder, number three, Sarah Kelly. So we'll see Sarah Kelly. Kelly, a 241 hitter. 13 RBIs. She has nine extra base hits. Kelly from Ashburn, Virginia. Also had a nice week against Bowling Green. Four hits and ten at-bats. She had market six RBIs, including two home runs. The 0-1 misses inside. In fact, Kelly's got the hot stick as she has had a home run in three of her last four ball games. She awaits the 1-1 from Pratt and she fouls one off her front foot. One and two's the count. Kate Kobayashi and Holly Blaska back in the starting lineup. Last time they were home. Didn't get in the start in that final game against Toledo. The one two as Pratt rocks and deals on the outside. Thought she had strike three. Just barely missed. Two and two now the count. Pratt gets the sign from Coyne. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped up in the infield. Chloe Parks underneath it. Puts the squeeze on for the third out. We head to the bottom of the first here in Oxford. 0-0. Top of the first inning. No runs. One hit. No errors. House on the call. Welcome back to Miami Softball Stadium. Here on Love and Honor Live, let's take you through the Red Hawks starting lineup. Played in right field and batting hit off Jenna Golubeski. Batting in the two hole, the designated player, Allie Cummins, Carly Spade, batting third. She's playing third. Chloe Parks in the cleanup spot. She's playing second base. Kate Kobayashi moving down to the five hole. She's in center field. Riley Coyne at six. She's behind the plate. Holly Blasco will be the first baseman. She's batting seventh. Adriana Barlow, the shortstop, batting eighth. And Maddie Banks will be anchoring the lineup. She's in left field. Alexis Luzition will be in the circle. The southpaw for the Bulls. You see her stats in front of there. 361 ERA. She comes in with a nine in or a six and eight win loss. She has struck out 102 batters and has walked 17. So a fantastic. K to walk ratio. Ellen Besky now with nine home runs on the year. Tied with Carly Spade for second most on the team. As the 0-1 is a called strike, so make it 0-2. Had a home run in each game against Western Michigan last week. They did not get to play game three as that one got canceled. 
So they split with Western Michigan. The 0-2 from Lusitian is a fastball blown by Golombeski. One up, one down. Let's take you through the Bulls' defensive alignment. Behind the plate will be Ambrose. Nagel will be out at first base. Williams at second. Van Haste is playing shortstop. She's not in the lineup as she's getting designated hit for. Furniman will be at third. Kelly, Vara, and Mitchell out in the outfield. Check swing from Allie Cummins. Called strike. Cummins, the native of Westchester, Ohio, coming into this one, batting 337, 11 home runs, 24 RBI. Had a two home run game against Toledo. As quickly, Lusician is ahead of Cummins. Oh, to the count. Five pitches, five strikes for Alexis Lusician. As the southpaw gets the sign, rocks and deals. Can't get Cummins to chase on the riser. One, two is the count. Cummins went one for five last week against Western Michigan. Second on the team in batting average, trailing only Golombeski. That's a nice eye. She gets on base nearly half the time, exactly half the time. Her on base percentage sitting at 500. She waits the 2-2 as it rides up and in. The count is full. Alexis Luzition. Peers into the dugout. And here's the payoff. Swung on and missed. Allie Cummins works it back to a full count, but eventually goes down on the fastball. So two up, two down here in the bottom of the first. And we'll see Carly Spade. Carly Spade comes in with an OPS over one, a 327 hitter. She's got nine home runs. She leads the team in RBIs with 28, slugging 653. It's the strikeout numbers that have rise this year for Carly Spade. Leads the team with 28 strikeouts and 101 at-bats. Still hitting well, only 10 points below Golombeski and Cummins. But the on-base percentage has dipped quite a bit. Only eight walks on the season for Spade as the 0-1 misses on the outside. Musician, a native of Calgary, Canada. As Carly Spade pops one towards the grandstand down the right field line, goes foul. One and two is the count. Musician through 13 innings against the Falcons of Bowling Green, only allowing four earned runs in those 13 innings. She struck out 19. He's hit double digits in K's four times this year. The one, two. Foul tipped, winds up in the glove of Ambrose. And Luzition strikes out the side here in the bottom half of the first as she makes quick work of that deadly Miami lineup. Better the bottom, the top of the second here on Love and Honor Live.
top of the second here in Oxford, Ohio. I'm Ray Mouse. You're watching Love It On The Live here on Chatterbox Sports. Casey McAllister, the producer here today. Quick first inning for both pitchers. We did see a single from Buffalo. But they left Abby Nagel stranded. 5-6-7 due up for the Bulls here on the top of the second. Miami in their all-whites with love and honor across the front of their jerseys. Buffalo in the black jerseys with the blue and white trip. One and knows the count here to uh, Mia Mitchell. Mitchell batting 258, third on the team in hitting. This Buffalo team bats 218 on the year. So offense has been at times the bugaboo. Mitchell hasn't started in every game. The true freshman from Sugar Hill, Georgia. Four hits against Bowling Green has slowly earned herself a starting role. Best game of the year came against Queens last month. She went three for four, left the yard one time, three RBIs, scored twice. Still her only collegiate home run as Brianna Pratt gets the comeback on the 2-1 to make the count two and two. Pratt gets the sign. Here's the 2-2. Jack swing from Mitchell. She doesn't come close to coming all the way around. The count is full. And the Bulls are looking to get a leadoff base runner here in the second inning. Instead, Pratt puts her down on strikes on the swinging strikeout. Beautiful day here as the fans start rolling in. Number eight, Lily Lauk. Lily Lauk steps in. Lauk batting 234 on the season. After all the rain we've gotten over the past week or so, saw a bunch of games get canceled last week, lots of wind. Games get canceled throughout the week here in the local area. You check the 10-day forecast, you might be pleased to see a lot of sunshine, a lot of warmth coming our way. Lauka Freshman from Lakeview, New York. Takes the 0-1. Brings the count to 1-1. One one. Searching for her first hit in a couple weeks. She is one for her last 10. As she fouls back the 1-1, one, one, brings the count to one and two. Her 20th start this season. Pratt in unison with Coin. Turns her shoulders and Rocks and deals, just missing on the edge. Umpires here today behind the plate will be Daniel Abernathy. Bobby Johnson will be up first baseline, and Dennis Aldridge will be down the third baseline. The 2-2 two -two just missed, says Abernathy. The payoff pitch here to Lauk. And the dirt, one out walk. So we mentioned Miami. Second baseman for UB. Currently in a tie 20, for sixth Tina place Williams. with Akron in the Mid-American Conference. And most of that is coming off of the swept that they suffered. 
at the hands of Northern Illinois. And you see Northern Illinois firmly at six and six in the conference. And there's just a hodgepodge right in the middle. Ohio, 10 and two. Western Michigan, four and one, as is Buffalo. And then right there in the middle, you got Ball State at six and five. Northern Illinois at six and six. Central Michigan at four and four. Then Akron and Miami at five and six. Not too far behind is Kent State and Toledo. Really the only two teams that have played themselves one way or the other is Ohio and starting out 10 and two and then Bowling Green who has started out one and 11 in conference play. So one and one's the count here to Tiana Williams. Swinging strike as Williams chases. Williams, a native of Arizona, junior, graduate of River Valley High School out there. As the one, two, rides high, bringing the count to two and two. Rocks in deals. Popped foul. Over the grandstand, so we'll do it once more here at two and two. Last time we were out here at the softball stadium, we saw Miami lose the first game of the series as Williams fouls one bat. Lost the first game of the series to Toledo, two to nothing. Came back, run ruled game two, and won the rubber match, six to four, and that was a week and a half ago. We mentioned last week, run ruled Western Michigan in the first game they played, 11 nothing in a six inning affair. But lost two to one. The final game they played, chopped at to Carly Spade. Double play opportunity, but Spade throws one out into right center field. Rounding third, headed for home is Lauk. And coming and holding up at third base is Tiana Williams, who will then go on the misplay on the throw into the infield. They get a two hopper to Carly Spade, who then throws one out into right center field. The miss throw on the relay back into the diamond. Misses and Tiana Williams comes all the way around to score. The center fielder, number 16. And Lily Lauk does as well, making it two to nothing. So walking in air, have the Bulls out in front. And we'll see Kate Vara. Miami has won the previous 12 games against the Bulls, dating all the way back to May 4th, 2018. Here we go, nine. And have in fact won 20 of the last 21 games against Buffalo. The 0-2 rides high. Vara on the season. Be her 21st start, batting 167 on the year. Just five hits and 30 at bats. Makes a called strike three on the inside half of the plate. And there's two away here in the top of the first. Buffalo catcher, number 18, Lila Ambrose. So the starting catcher steps into the batter's box, the right-handed swinging Lila Ambrose. Good. 
Ambrose awaits the 1-0 from Pratt. Gets a swinging strike. Mention Pratt on the air, her pitching statistics. 12 and eight win loss, a 3.78 ERA. Has thrown a lot of innings for Miami this year. 124 of them to be exact, 104 strikeouts as Ambrose gets a two out single for the Bulls and turns over the lineup for Abby Nagel. Back to the top of the lineup. So now it's Nagel. 13, first baseman, Abby Nagel. She singled her last time up. Single through the four hole on the right side of the field. Nagel awaits the first pitch from Pratt. Lines one out of play down the left field line. Got a good piece, but was just too late and couldn't keep it in the field of play. Through 29 games this year, coming into this, the Bulls have scored just 79 runs. opposed to the 141 runs they've given up. The offense hasn't been there consistently for Buffalo, but they had a nice jump to the season in conference play. Mike Raquel out for his fifth season as the head coach of the Bulls. Pratt misses on the inside, it's two and one. So Ambrose out at first base. And Nagel hits a slow grounder out to Blaska. She fields it herself, works towards the line, and slaps the tag on Nagel for the third and final out. But the Buffalo Bulls scores two, two runs second, two on the runs air on by hits. the Red Hawks. We head to the bottom of the second. It's two to nothing. Miami University Athletics. Chloe Parks, Kate Kobayashi, Riley Coyne do up for Miami here. In the bottom of the second as the Red Hawks look to reclaim the two runs. They surrendered in the top half of the inning. Buffalo got on base with a walk and then a defensive miscue from Miami and allowed two runs to score. And that's where we're at. Green Mouse here, and you're watching Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. If you haven't already, go ahead, like that stream, subscribe to the channel. As Parks takes the first pitch, shows bunt, but pulls it back in time. Parks has come on as of late, batting 306 on the season. A sophomore from Indianapolis has had a hit in six of her last seven starts, including multiple hit performance at three of her last four. Batted three hole against Toledo in game two and had a walk off three RBI triple, which secured the run rule. She had five RBIs in that game. 
2-0's the count to Parks as she offers at the 2-0, fouls it over the third base dugout. 2-1 is now our count. I mentioned how Miami has won 20 of the last 21 matchups between these two schools. They've won 34 of 46 all time as Parks lines one out to center field in to make the play as Vara on the screws but right at the starting center fielder for the first out. First ball put in play by Miami is sharply hit. But now we'll see Kate Kobayashi step the center up. Center fielder, it's number 22, Kate Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Mainstay at the middle part of this lineup. Third on the team in batting at 328, the senior from Kansas City, Missouri. With an OPS over one this year, 1.045. She gets on base about half the time. Started out the season red hot. Multiple hit performances in each of the first three games the Red Hawks played. Has simmered off a little bit. Her last hit came against Northern Illinois a couple weeks ago. So here's the 1-1 one -one to the senior from Kansas City. Called strike. Alexis Luzishin has already put down three Red Hawks on strikes, looking for number four. Kobayashi fouls one back, staying alive, and we'll do it at one and two once more. Able to stream or show Love and Honor Live. The Joe Nuxall Classic earlier this week. Four local baseball teams playing against each other. First game saw Wright State beat the University of Cincinnati. And then the home team, Miami, lost to Xavier in the nightcap. Meaning UC and Miami will play against one another. And Wright State and Xavier will play for the Joe Nuxall Classic title. Two and two is the count. Musician offers one to Kobayashi, who fouls it back. Still piling in, nice crowd here on the lovely day. Easter weekend. Kobayashi takes the 2-2. Two -two. Games two and three will be played tomorrow at one and three. That doubleheader starting at one o'clock and then of course, second game will take place about 30 minutes after the conclusion of the first game. A 3-2 foul back, Kobayashi being a tough out at the plate. Kobayashi has walked more times than she has struck out this year, 18-13 to be exact. She's second on the team and walks, trailing only Allie Cummins. As she'll take ball four, and we mentioned them too. Allie Cummins with 28 walks. Kei Kobayashi now with 19. They have attributed for half of the Red Hawks walks this season. Just them two. We'll see Riley Coyne step up with a runner on first base. Coyne, one of the premier power threats in the conference. Seven home runs. She's fourth on the team in that. 23 RBIs. First pitch, hacking. Hey, she'll hit one on the screws, but down the right field line and foul. Awaits the 0-1 from Luzician and is chasing up and in. Coin batting 260, 
six on the season. Had a two-hit performance in which she left the yard twice against Western Michigan. That was that 11-0 win. Both home runs were solo shots. And she'll go down on strikes. The fourth strike out of the game for Luzishan, and there's two away as Holly Blaska steps up. That was Miami's first baseman, number five, Holly Blaska. Four strikeouts, all swinging for Luzishan. She checks her wristband on her right arm. Up and running is Kobayashi. The throw, not in time. That's a nice job by Van Haste. Covering her position, but Kobayashi got too big of a jump. So a base hit should score the runner. That's Holly Blaska, who has 21 RBIs on the year. Awaits the 0-1 from Luzishan. She chases as that rides up and in. Blasco with a hit in each game last weekend against the Broncos from Western Michigan. But before that was riding a bit of a slump. Takes the 0-2 on the outside. That before her series against Western Michigan was one for her last 15 in series against Northern Illinois, Toledo, and the one-off game against Notre Dame. Jams Blaska, but she's able to get it out of play, and we'll do it once more at one and two. Blaska looking to give Miami a run if she can find the outfield grass. And she got the barrel, but once again out of play. Luzishan doing a good job at drawing a lot of swings, and Miami's putting the bat on the ball and just can't put it in play. And then Luzishan eventually gets that strikeout pitch working. Four Ks through the first six batters faced. In fact, it's only been Chloe Parks who's been able to put the ball in play against Luzishan. Alaska fouls off her front foot. We'll do it again here. Fouled once more, and Alaska. And this Miami lineup, though they aren't putting the ball in play, is making Luzishan work. Oh, Holly Blaska flares one out to left field. Underneath it will be Kelly for the third and final out. So Blaska finally puts a barrel on the ball. But it's right towards the starting left fielder for the Bulls. Two nothing here as we head to the third inning on Love It, Honor Lot.
Top of the third here in Oxford, Ohio. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, we'll shamelessly plug our channel. You're watching Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. Go ahead and like the stream. Subscribe to the channel. If you like Cincinnati sports or just sports in general. From 10 to noon every Monday through Friday, Tom Bertman hosts Off the Bench, and we have other content. If you're a Reds fan, we have Chatterbox Reds concluding with every Cincinnati Reds game. College basketball, Frank, go ahead go ahead and check out our podcast, which covers Southwest Ohio schools called the Rebound Rundown. But in to the batter's box is Alexis Musician, the starting pitcher trying to help her own case. She struck out swinging her first time around. And Pratt working quickly in the circle gets an 0-1 count on the called strike. So Pratt once again getting the sign, working with Coin, rocks and deals, and the musician thinks about it, but holds off. Pratt already with 44 pitches in the circle. Musician. Rounds one slowly out to Adriana Barlow. She gets rid of it quickly, throws it across the diamond to Holly Blasco. Worked very fast. Carly Spade moved to her left, but couldn't get to it in time. Barlow, slick fielding shortstop, gets the sixth of three two, foot out. Third baseman, Madison Furniman. Madison Furniman steps in. She reached the board on the fielder's choice her last time around. Slow roller. Out to Barlow. And Pratt, after getting the first out of the inning, comes back and gets the first strike of the at-bat against Furniman. Chopped out to Carly Spade. She fields it in the foul territory. She straddled the third base bag but they said the ball was to the left of the line. So the count is now 0-2. Furman, a utility player for the Bulls, getting the start at third base today. She awaits the 0-2. Pratt tries to elicit a chase. Furman lays off. See the shot of center field. We'll be here next week as the Miami Softball Invitation. I don't know if that's the, the official name of it, but number one team in the country. Oklahoma comes to town, as does Louisville, another great program. So it should be great softball as the 4-3 put out on the slow roller to Chloe Parks. Gets the second out of the inning. You can watch that all here on Love and Honor Live. Down number three. Left fielder, Sarah Kelly. And we'll see Sarah Kelly. Kelly popped up in the infield her last time. Looking to get something working with two away. Pratt looking to make quick work here in the third inning. One oh here to Kelly. Rides inside, turns her hip on and laid off the inside heater. Two oh the count here to the starting left fielder. Kelly underneath the third out in the bottom half of the second inning. Kelly gets every piece of that as that heads right for our first baseline camera. No net protecting that baby. Kelly would have hit it, we just sent her an invoice. Two ones the count. Pratt gets the sign from Coin. here we roll. Once again, working the inside against Kelly. Mm -hmm. 
Kelly batting 237, but a hit in each of her last four games. Came up with a runner on first base her last time. And gets a hit, and now five straight games as she smokes one out to left field. Maddie Banks quickly gets it back in. It's a two-out single for the Bulls. Number 11. Consistently right putting pressure Mia on Brianna Brad. You see Maya Mitchell now. Mitchell struck out to begin the second inning. To see if she'll have an aggressive stick here her second time around. Mitchell takes the 1-0 in the dirt, and Pratt has fallen behind. Looking at Pratt's most recent outings. She went six innings in both games against Western Michigan. She went a total of 18 innings in the three-game series against Toledo, starting every game in the circle through two complete games against Northern Illinois. So she's not afraid to go the distance as they go out there and talk to her. She's well over 50 pitches already in this one. 56 to be exact. She is allowed four hits and has struck out three. Two runs, neither of which were earned on that air. Miami, the three-time regular season champs here in the Mid-American Conference consecutively. 2019, of course, no season in 2020. And then 2021 and 2022, the last, the previous two seasons in which they made the NCAA tournament. Now number eight. Looking to fight Doesn't back and player, make the MAC Lily Conference Lowe. tournament here as we are heading towards the tail end of the season. So a four-pitch walk will put a runner in scoring position with two away, and we'll see Lily Lake. The ball squirts away from Coyne, and he'll put two runners in scoring position for Lauk. So this is the exact same scenario, a walk and then an error, which allowed two runs to score last time. It was a walk. A single and now a wild pitch. It put two runners in scoring position. Out in front of home plate. It's going to be a tough play for Brianna Pratt. The throw over to Holly Blaska in time. And though Buffalo threatens, they hang a zero on the board. It's 2 nothing as we head to the bottom of the third here on Love and Honor Live. No runs. One hit. Adriana Barlow, Maddie Banks, and then back to the top half of the order for Miami here. In the bottom of the third inning. Thank you for joining us back in. Up in our score here on Love and Honor Live. First of a three game series. Barlow, the starting shortstop today. Getting a leadoff base runner for the Red Hawks. We mentioned the fact that. Brianna Pratt, right around 60 pitches through the first three innings. Alexis Musician, 35 coming into this bottom half of the third. 
Barlow pops one foul. Owen two is the count. Musician doesn't walk many batters. We mentioned her stats early in the broadcast at the top of it. 17 walks in an 87 inning. She has struck out 102. So striking out over five batters for every batter that she walks. And she finds Adriana Barlow in an 0-2 hole. She's already got four Ks on the day. Barlow, the grad student from St. Louis, Missouri. Foul tips one. Stays alive as it ricochets off Ambrose's mitt. And we do it at one and two once again. Position began the first inning with a strikeout. Chloe Parks started the second inning in a line out to center field. Here's the one-two to Barlow. And she pops one foul towards Millette Hall over the first base dugout. As it might have hit on top of the concession stand vendor here at the softball stadium. The one-two. Hit well out to right center field, giving chase two outfielders for Buffalo, but Kate Vara comes underneath it for the first out. So just too much air underneath that pop up to right center field. The left fielder, number 29, Maddie Banks. pop out Banks. to center field. Maddie Banks steps in. Banks batting 283 on the season. Shows bunt and actually stabs at it as she fouls one over towards Miami's dugout. She comes in a day one for her last eight. Two hit performance against Toledo, one of the two starts she had. Started in nearly every game for Miami as she pops one down the left field line, giving chase and getting underneath it will be Kelly for the second out. So put two away here in the bottom of the third, and we're back to the top of the order for Miami. And number two, right fielder Jenna Golombeski. Jenna Golombeski steps in. She struck out swinging her first time. an everyday starter last year, but has earned herself into the lineup and has been one of the best bats for Miami this season as Luzician blows one by Golombeski. Actually leads the team in hitting, leads the team in OPS, slugging. The only major statistical category that she trails is on base percentage. And she's got Nine home runs, trailing only Allie Cummins is 11. When Allie Cummins has started in 31 games, Golombeski coming in today has started in 19. So she's swinging a hot stick this season. But quickly finds herself in an 0-2 well. Position rocks and deals. Tries on the outside. Get the home plate umpire to call it strike three and doesn't get Golombeski to chase, so the count is one and two. Golombeski with an open stance in the right handed batter's box. Can't catch up to the fastball, and that's two strikeouts for the leadoff hitter of the Red Hawks. We head to the fourth the inning, still two nothing here on Love and Honor Live. No
nothing our score here on this Friday edition of Love and Honor Live. Three bounce on the call. Casey McAllister tickling the keys on the production side of things. As we will see the bottom half of Buffalo's starting lineup. Tiana Williams, Kate Vara, and Lila Ambrose. Tiana Williams came around and scored on that ground ball to Carly Spader last time around. Not a whole lot of offense for either team. Miami still looking for their first hit. They've only had one base runner. In the ball game. Buffalo has had a couple base hits, but haven't strung many together. It was the walk, then that air that scored two runs. They're looking to add on, as the Bulls have been out to a hot four and one start to Mac play. Miami is representing if not the farthest south, one of the farther south MAC schools. And I've gotten in a lot more conference games. Here in the spring, you go up to Michigan, you go up to New York where Buffalo is. Not as fair weather as we're seeing today. 57 degrees and it's only gonna get warmer over the next week. 2-2, Two -two, the count to Williams. Miss it on the inside, and the count is run full. Pratt looking to retire the first batter of the inning. Williams looking to reach aboard again. Keep running that Pratt pitch count up. The payoff. Swung on and miss. Coyne slaps the tag on Williams for the first out. One up, one down here in the fourth inning. Number 16, center fielder Kate Vera. Kate Vera steps in. Vera struck out looking her first time around. Barlow doesn't field the one hop out to her cleanly. Came up on the well stung swing by Vara. And the starting center fielder will take first base. Eighteen. Call that on the Ambrose. Lila Ambrose steps up. Ambrose singled her last time around. As Pratt's looking for a ground ball, she gets it, but it's right up the middle for back-to-back -back base hits for the Bulls. So back to the top half of the order, and the Bulls are threatening once again. First baseman, Abby. Nagel. Courtney Verstra, Miami alum, going out there and talking to Pratt in the circle. Abby Nagel steps in. She's one for two. Two runners on, one away here in the fourth inning. The Bulls with already a 2 nothing lead looking to add on. They've got Alexis Luzician throwing well in the circle for their squad. So Nagel steps in and awaits the first pitch from Pratt. Trying to work the outside. Couldn't pull it back in. One owes the count. So they did officially give the hit to Vara. That feels fair. It was well hit out to Barlow. 
And no choice but to give the hit to Ambrose. So she's two for two. Two O's the count to Nagel. Can't walk. Nagel to load the bases. So expect a challenge pitch here from Brianna Pratt. Bounced out to Chloe Parks. Chance for the double play to Barlow at second. And they double him up. Back-to-back -back singles in the bottom half of the order. They turn it over for Nagel, and she bounces into a tailor-made double play. Four, six, three. Get the sticks out for Miami. It's two to nothing here on Love and Honor Live. In the top of the fourth inning. Of the fourth here on Love and Honor Live. We're in Oxford. Two nothing our score. Two, three, four, do up for Miami. As they have been unable to crack the Alexis Musician Code. And Karen Kumar is having a talk with Buffalo, with the home plate umpire rather, about the defensive substitution that Buffalo has made. Cummins, Carly Spade, and then Chloe Parks do up for Miami. Cummins, Spade went down on strikes. Position with five Ks on the ledger. Cummins awaits the first pitch from Lusician. Called strike on the outside. Musician coming into the, the inning, 47 pitches on the pitch count. Come in, slaps one out to right field. This has a chance, it's gone! Apo Taco for Ali Cummins makes it a 2-1 ball game and the first hit for Miami's is a big fly. So the Red Hawks are on the board. Stepping in next for Miami. Number and seven, still baseman, with Carly the middle of their order Spade. up as Carly Spade steps into the batter's box. That's home run number 12 on the season for Allie Cummins. She was all over it. Spade, first pitch swinging. Is the foul ball. Barely avoids an Australian Shepherd walking on the grandstand. Spade awaits the 0-1 from Lusician. He's got a chance, but tailing foul. Stays in the field of play, but off the right field wall. 0-2, oh, now the count to Spade. And they put Carly Spade down on strikes. For the first out. Number four. Six strikeout Red of the ball game for Marks. the position. And it's Chloe Parks. She found a barrel hole last time, but also found the center fielder in Kate Vara. Oh, 
First pitch, lefty on lefty matchup. Called strike on the inside. Here's the 0-1 as Parks hits one over to Tiana Williams, who spins around. Carol Wetz delivers a strike over to Abby Nagel, but not in time as Parks fleet-footed beats out the throw. Second end of the ballgame for Miami. And they get the tie and run aboard here in the bottom half of the fourth. Kobayashi. Kate Kobayashi. Walked her last time, worked a heck of an at-bat at the plate. First pitch swinging, well behind. Oh, one here to the starting center fielder. Missing up and away, Kobayashi. Mentioned her and Cummins, best eyes on the team. Both get on base nearly half the time. Chloe Parks out there at first base. Afraid to steal a base or two. Backed on the season, she's a perfect two for two. Miami as a team, very successful on the base pass. 31 stolen bases and 36 attempts. 1-2 to Kobayashi as Luzishin rocks and deals. Kobayashi fouls one again here in the grandstand. A lot of foul balls in this game as Luzishin elicits a lot of swings from Miami. Work up in Buffalo's bullpen. As it is number four, Julia Tarantino. Two and two. The count to Kobayashi. Musician checks her right forearm for the sign. Rocks, deals, and Kobayashi just pesky at the plate fouling everything off. Another pitch to Kobayashi. Goes off speed. Kobayashi sits all over it. Count is now full. So we'll see if Parks is moving with a full count to the great contact hitter in Kobayashi. Ops not to, it's two walks in the ball game for Kobayashi. And Miami has the tying run on second, the go ahead run at first, and Riley Coyne step into the plate. The first time that they've really put pressure on Alexis Musician in this ball game. As Parks and Kobayashi represent the second and third base runners in the ball game, and here they go and talk to their starting pitcher, the Bulls will. As for the first time today, Alexis Musician has run into trouble. Game two will be at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Game three will be at three or whenever the first game concludes in that doubleheader. And we mentioned next week that there will be the Miami softball invitational. Lorelai Depew warming up in Miami's bullpen. Mm -hmm. 
in the Miami Invitational. You'll see Oakland versus Oklahoma at 11 a.m. Miami will play Oakland at 2. Then Oklahoma versus Louisville at 5 p.m. on that Saturday, Sunday at 10 a.m. Oklahoma versus Miami. Let's check that all right here on Love It Honor Live. 0-1 oh, the count here to Riley Coy. I mentioned her first time up. Coyne with 23 RBIs on the season, third on the team, only trailing Carly Spade and Allie Cummins. Called strike, finds Coyne, NOL, 0-2's the count. Coyne went down on strikes last time. She's second on the team in strikeouts, trailing only Carly Spade. 25 on the season at 80 at bats. Coyne stands tall in the box. Lines one out to left center field. That's a base hit. Rounding third, heading for home is Parks. And the second base is Kobayashi. And Coyne takes second on the relay. And it's two to two. Number five, it's the first baseman, Holly Blaska. So now you'll see Holly Blaska with two on and one away. Go ahead run in the form of Kate Kobayashi out at third base. Riley Coyne, an extra base runner here. And the bottom of the fourth. And Blaska gets all of one out to right field. It has enough. It's gone. That's home run number five for Holly Blaska. Her fifth home run of the season. RBI 22, 23, and 24 as Miami takes a 5-2 to two lead. The Redhawks came into this inning with no hits on the scoreboard. And here on the bottom of the fourth, they leave the yard twice. First on the solo shot from Allie Cummins. And then the three-run bomb from Blaska. Work's not done as Adriana Barlow steps in. Calm strike to Barlow. She popped up her last time. Oh, one's the count. Barlow just got underneath her swing last time. She has three home runs on the season, six doubles. Just got a little too underneath her last swing. And she popped it into right center field. It's underneath it again, but out in no man's land, but just trailing foul. And she was trying to get the blue double down the right field line. All smiles as she heads back into the batter's box, knowing she just barely missed extra bases. But instead, she steps in with an 0-2 count. That's the thing about this Miami team, regardless of the situation in the game, they are always smiling out there on the field. Winning, losing, 0-2 count, 2-0 count, it don't matter, they're having fun. One and two is the count to Barlow. Lose issue. As Barlow lines out to Tiana Williams. What a play from the second baseman. Williams jumps up. That's actually Brianna Castro who went in to replace Tiana Williams and comes in and makes a fantastic play. Maddie Banks, who flew out to left field her last time. That was just last inning. But Barlow, once again, just barely missing feet on an extra base hit. 
Grounds one out right in front of home plate. Ambrose throws it out to Castro for the third and final out. But Miami played five runs thanks to two home runs. One from Allie Cummins, one from Holly Blaska, and the RBI single from Riley Coyne to boot. 5-2 our score as we head to the fifth inning on Love and Honor Line. We run it back here in the top half of the fifth inning. 5-2 our score. Miami finally getting the bats out and in a big way. If they don't play one run, two runs, three runs, or even four runs. They played five of them. Two up for Buffalo here in the fifth inning. Alexis Luzishan. I'm Reem Mouse here watching Chatterbox Sports. Love and honor lot. Thank you for tuning in. As always, we have a blast doing this. Be back next week for that Miami Invitational, as we brought up. Not many midweek games left. I believe the boys play Ohio State in a week and a half. As they're looking to turn around their season, the baseball squad. Miami still have aspirations of making the MAC tournament here in softball, and it starts right here against Buffalo. So Brianna Pratt back out in the circle. Musician 0 for 2 on the day. Popped up in the infield. Carly Spade calling off Riley Coyne, comes in, makes the catch for the first out. Nice job by Spade coming in and calling off the catcher. And one away is here in the top Third half of the fifth inning. Madison Furniman. Madison Furniman steps up. 0 for 2 on the day. And Riley Coyne sticks the first pitch from Pratt a little longer. Doesn't change the opinion of the home plate umpire, Abanathy. 1-0 is the count here to Furniman. Fouled off her front ankle. Ouch. As the count is now 1-1. See a little bit of the crowd there behind home plate. Typically have a nice little audience. Missing in the dirt. Next week's games will be a ticketed event. Be sure to check out on Miami's website if you want to come out and see the number one team in the country play. Four tickets. The 2 1 is fouled towards Miami's dugout, is now 2 2. and deals and gets another foul ball from Furman. Just hyping up that 
invite next week. Oklahoma comes in 34 and one. And they haven't lost since February 19th. Popped up in foul territory, making a nice at bat together. Furniman stays alive. Count is still 2 2. Sarah Kelly awaits in the on deck circle. Pratt gets a strikeout. Furniman makes Pratt work, but eventually the pitcher wins the battle. Left fielder, Sarah Kelly. Sarah Kelly now steps in. Pratt with five strikeouts on the ledger. Kelly, one for two. Singled her last trip up. Made it all the way to third base before a big one to three put out. Got to Miami out of the inning. Back in the third. Miami now at the lead, seven outs away from closing this thing up. Starts right here with Sarah Kelly in an 0-1 count as Pratt tries the off speed. Vultures starting to circle softball stadium here. Signifying something. Two ones to count. Pratt rocks and deals. Chopped, foul towards Miami's dugout. Two and two's the count. The 82nd pitch of the ball game for Brianna Pratt. Given up five hits, two runs, two walks, has struck out five. Field playing straight up against Sarah Kelly. A 2-2. Two -two. Chopped foul again. And I'll tell you what, I think I've seen more foul balls in this ball game than I have all season here at the softball stadium. Both teams fouling everything. Working long at bats, and those typically go to the batter. The longer an at bat goes, the more the odds shift in the favor of the hitter. Not today. Pitchers have held both offenses quiet except for Miami's last half inning. 2-2 misses inside. Count is run full. The payoff pitch is lined down the left field line. Kelly rounds first. She's heading for second. Two bagger for Sarah Kelly with two away. Another hit for the Bulls. Put a runner in scoring position. Mia Mitchell. Right fielder, Mia Mitchell. Mia over one struck out and has walked. Comes up with a runner in scoring position as the Bulls trail by three runs. First pitch from Pratt. This is on the inside. One owes the count. Coin working in the battery with Pratt. We mentioned Spade and Barlow on the left side of the infield. Parks out at second. Blasco, the first baseman. Banks, Kobayashi, Golombeski out in the outfield for the Red Hawks. Sarah Kelly's out at second base after the two out double put the Bulls in scoring position and they'd love to scratch one run across after giving up five last half inning. Yeah. 
1-1 to Mitchell. Misses low and in. Chopped foul just beyond the outreach glove of Carly Spade. Count is two and two. And here comes pitch number 90 in the ball game for Pratt. Mitchell on the season, six RBIs. Would love to get numero seven. Two, two. Count is run full. The payoff pitch to Mia Mitchell. Hit well out to left center field. Kobayashi giving chase. It hits off the warning track and against the wall. One run will score, and it's back-to-back -back two out doubles for the Bulls. 5-3, now our score as Sarah Kelly comes in. And Mia Mitchell standing out at second. So 5-3 now our score on back-to-back -back doubles. Mia Mitchell. RBI, Siete, got it right. Spanish needs to be brushed off from time to time. So put two away and Lily Lauk at the plate. It looks like Pratt is gonna stay in there. Lauk with only one RBI on the season. She's got 11 hits. Coming to the plate, the designated player, Lily Lauk. Lauk, the freshman, can make this a one-run ball game if she can find the outfield grass. Bulls give up five runs last half inning. Come back with a punch of their own. Got one run. Got seven outs to give Miami. They're gonna do everything in their willpower to scrap back the lead. The 0-1 to Lauk. Line down the third baseline over towards Mike Riekel, fifth year coach for Buffalo. Oh, two, the count, and Pratt's looking for a strikeout. Called time by Lauk. Riley Coyne now going to scramble out into the circle, talk to Pratt. I've always loved how in baseball, softball, they, they cover their lips as they, they talk to one another, as if the, the teams have... Lip readers in the dugout. As if the, the national broadcast are, are getting in nice and close. We don't have captions here on Chatterbox. As Pratt gets the strikeout, putting down Lauk. But Buffalo scores a run here in the top half of the fifth inning. It's five to three. Buffalo, so we head to the bottom half here on Love and Honor Live. One run, on two hits.
saying, take me out to the ball game as it was stretch time here in Oxford. 5-3 R score, and Miami back to the top half of their lineup. Position still in the circle for the Bulls as they get back a run. So there was a scoring change dating back to the two runs in the second inning. As Golombeski pops one down the right field line, tough play for Mitchell, who will have it for the first out. Designated player, F9. Allen So dating back to that two runs in the second inning, which both happened on the same play. They initially gave a hit to Buffalo on that play. They have now scored a fielder's choice on the decision to go to second and an error on Carly Spade who then threw it out to right center field. And that's how the first runner scored. The second runner came around on the air from Golombeski on the throw back into the infield. So two airs on the play and a fielder's choice is now the score all the way back on your score sheet as I, I'm sure you guys are keeping one at home. 5-3, our score here. And Allie Cummins steps in and she finds herself in an 0-2 hole. She left the yard her last time. Got things rolling. Back in the fourth inning with that leadoff jack. The Lakota West grab takes the 0-2. And misses outside. One and two is now the count. Musician. Can't get Cummins to chase. On the high offering. Two and two now the count. Cummins one for two. Musician has retired the first three batters six times in seven trips of this highly potent Miami lineup. The only time she hasn't was that home run from Cummins. In fact, in those seven at-bats that she has already put in the scorebook, she has struck out, struck them out five times. Two to the count, Cummins. Line drive right at Nagel, but she's right there. An Adam ball for the second out. Third baseman, Carly Spade. So Allie Cummins, it's a line drive right at Abby Nagel for the second out, and now Carly Spade steps in. 0 for 2, two strikeouts. The open stance waits the first pitch from Luzician, and that's a base hit out to right field. A single as Mitchell was playing with her heels on the warning track. A two out base knock brings Chloe Parks to the plate. Second baseman, Chloe Parks. First hit in the game for Carly Spade. First pitch to Parks, hit well out to center field and with her heels on the warning track, Kate Vara underneath it for the third and final out here in the bottom half of the fifth. To the, the sixth we go, in the bottom of the score, fifth inning, no runs, five, one hit, no three. errors, and one left on base.
Anna Pratt back in the circle for her sixth inning of work. I'm Reed Mouse here watching Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. One more time on Blow. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Like the stream. If you want to know when we're going to go live, hit the notification bell. We'll push a notification anytime we go live, especially for when we're doing these Miami games. Castro to lead off for Buffalo here in the sixth inning. Rihanna on the season. Batting 189. 10 hits and 53 at bats. Castro hitting for Tiana Williams. Came in, made a spectacular play in the field. And Buffalo has made a couple nice plays on just bullets. Castro had to leap up and retire and out. As Adriana Barlow smoked one out. 2-1 the count here to, to Castro. Buffalo scored two runs in the second, one run last inning. Trailing two with six outs to give Miami. Check swing, and she did come around. So work the count to two and two. No doubter, she fully committed to that pitch. Comes the 2 2. Called strike three. So one up, one down here in the sixth inning. And it starts off out of the fifth inning in for a strikeout. Kate Barrett steps in. Brianna Pratt went over 100 pitches that at bat. Seven Ks on the day. She's given up one earned run in this one. She's been sharp. Barra singled her last time up. She struck out looking her first time. She's working on a one for two. Pratt rocks, deals. The 1-0 is fouled back. We'll do it here at one and one. Starting to see some preparations as the season has gone on for an Invitational. They brought in some extra bleachers here at the softball stadium down the right field line. We're here over the past few weeks, recently added. <laughs> one one foul towards Buffalo's dugout. Navarro waits the one two. Pratt gets the sign from Coin. Popped foul and out of play. We'll do it again. Also mentioned that Louisville is coming to town. They've been in and out of the top 25 this season. The one two to Kate Vara. Pratt looking for her third consecutive strikeout. Jack swing, and yes, she did go. So Pratt, three straight Ks, now up to eight on the ball game, and she has retired two here in the sixth inning. Catcher, Lila Ambrose. Lila Ambrose. Singled her last time. Was out on the base paths on a double play. And Lila 
Ambrose two for two. So has had bringing up Pratt's number. But Pratt pulls the string on the first pitch and gets ahead of the starting catcher for the Bulls. Pratt turns and deals. Popped up, does it stay in play? Carly Spade calling for the ball. She's over by Miami's dugout and puts the squeeze on for the third out. One, two, three inning here in the top half of the six. Miami looking to get some insurance run. It's five to three as we head to the bottom half of the inning. Oh, love it on her life. Five, six, seven, two up for Miami. The bottom of the six, Ken Kobayashi, Riley Coyne, and Ali Velasca. Kobayashi has walked twice. This time, she's first pitch swinging. She sends one out to center field. First pitch, base hit. Riley Coyne now steps in. Riley Coyne. Coyne with the RBI single her last time. Looking to carry on the hot stick. Coyne stands tall in the back of the batter's box. Inching up close around the plate. Takes the first pitch on the outside. It's a called ball. Coyne with her 24th RBI, her last trip. Her and Blasco are now tied. As Coyne sends one out to deep center field, up against the wall, and making the catch at the track is Kate Vara. And man, oh man, was that mere feet away from home run number eight on the season for Riley Coyne. But instead, it's the first out here in the bottom half of the sixth inning, and it's Holly Blasco stepping to the plate. Blaska, one for two. And how can you forget her three run home run in the fourth inning? Which gave Miami their first lead of the game and they have not looked back. She would love to add on more. Blaska batting 295 on the season. She had her fifth home run. Flew out to left field her last time, her first time. It was a nice swing. A nice play by Kelly out and left. Blaska now in an 0-2 well. A senior from Minnesota. Doesn't chase. And the pitch that misses up. Alexis Luzishin still in the circle for Buffalo. And 
she has been very sharp other than two swings in the fourth inning. And she freezes Blaska for the seventh strikeout of the ball game for a Lusitian. Two away as Adriana Barlow. Adriana Barlow. And Adriana Barlow has an 0 for 2. But man, oh man, is she just inches away from a 2 for 2. Sent a ball out to right center field that sent Vara a long way to make the catch. And then Castro's leaping catch on the line drive her last trip. First pitch from Luzician in there for a called strike. Kobayashi out at first. The 0 1. Chop slowly out to Van Haste. Gonna be a tough play as she throws it across the diamond, but it's shortstop on shortstop crime. As we head to the seventh inning, 5 3 our score here on Love and Honor Live. For the Red Hawks in the bottom of the sixth. Comes down to this top half of the seventh inning. Five, three, our score. Brianna Pratt looking to close the door and get a W here in game one of the series. Miami has won 20 of the last 21 contests between Buffalo and the Red Hawks. And they're three outs away from 21 out of 22. I'm Reed Mouse. You're watching Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. Thank you for tuning in. Do up for the Bulls. They kind of drawn it up better as they've got one, two, three. Abby Nagel, Alexis Luzician, and then Madison Furniman. Nagel first pitch swinging out to Chloe Park. She gloves it cleanly. Flips it over to Blasco. One pitch. One out here in the top half of the inning. Number 10, Alexis Luzician. Luzician. 0 for 3. Mentioned the starting pitcher in the circle for the Bulls today. She went six long. She hung five zeros in today's game. It was that pesky fourth inning. And she's first pitch swinging. Barlow comes in, makes the catch. Two pitches, two outs. And the Bulls are down to their final out. Number two, Madison Furniman. And we'll see if Furniman is taken here to avoid the three pitch inning. Furniman, 0 for 3. Pratt rocks and deals. Out to Carly Spade, it's a three pitch. Seventh inning and Pratt goes the distance. The Red Hawks win five to three thanks in part to the five run fourth inning. Buffalo scores two in the second on an error. They score one in the top half of the fifth inning, but Miami get five runs in the bottom half of the fourth. One on Allie Cummins, a solo shot. One on the single from Riley Coyne, and then three from Holly Blaska. They never looked back. Give the win to Brianna Pratt. Is win number. Number 13 on the season as she increases her record to 13 and 8. The loss goes to Alexis Luzician. We'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. for the first game of the doubleheader.
Miami need to take one to win the series as they're not only looking to get the series, but sweep it. Once again, our final 5-3 here on Love and Honor Live. But this is Reed Mouse signing off for my producer, Casey McCollister. We thank you for tuning in and hope you tune in tomorrow here on Chatterbox Sports. Bid you adieu.